Not all love stories start out as one. And this tale that I'm about to share with you is one such story. A young, ambitious, hopeful man born in a small village in Rajasthan was a beautiful, sprightly, cosmopolitan woman from the big city of Jaipur. They had nothing in common, spare one, a goal to make the world a better place than the one they were born into. That became the driving force of their lives, and they stopped at nothing to achieve it. I am an ordinary man with extraordinary parents. This gift on your 50th wedding anniversary is not just a gift to you, but really a gift for us, for the family, future generations, my kids, my kids' kids, Nidhi's kids and their kids. I was thinking about what to do. Unfortunately, last year, you know, COVID put a hamper uh, on, on things and uh, we weren't able to celebrate your 50th wedding anniversary uh, the way we wanted and but then I got to thinking what what can we give you that lasts forever and really provides a treasure for generations to come and I was talking to Katyani and I said uh you know, you're very fortunate to have your grandparents. And she asked me, well, but then my kids will never know them. You know, because they'll probably be gone by then. And I said, you're absolutely right. And that's when I got to thinking, what, what can we do to give you something that is everlasting, eternal, and that really connects you with the present generation, whichever generation that may be, whether it's Katyani's, Katyani's kids, or their kids. All I can say is I love you guys. I love you tremendously. And I hope this gift keeps on giving for our family as a whole and uh, for your children and your children's children and their children. So happy 50th. We'll see you on the 75th. I'm Vijay. I'm youngest of seven brothers and sisters. I'm Kalpna. I'm Vijay's wife. I'll start out by saying anybody who knows them have a lot to learn from them. For me, Bhavi ji was always there. She was like a role model because getting married, coming to this country is a very sort of traumatic experience because, you know, you grow up with your family and suddenly it's all new people. You haven't met them. So for me, your uh, father and mother, they gave me a lot of support. Me personally, 
when I came from Ballagwad to Jaipur for my higher studies, Satpal Bhaiya brought me to Janni without, like he wanted to make me engineer. The same night, Yashpal Bhaiya called from America and I said, yeah, everything is fine. I'm going to math science. And he said, what? No, no way. You have to change to biology. And I always wanted to become a doctor, but if that phone call did not come, probably my fate was to become an engineer. So where does it come from? Our mother reminds us that we are really blessed to be born in this kind of family. The motto of life is to do the right thing, work hard, believe in theory of karma, believe, uplift your own life and others' lives. हाँ मैं डॉक्टर यशपाल आर्य की छोटी सबसे छोटी बहन हूँ एंड मेरा नाम राजेश है मैं डॉक्टर ब्रजेश गोयल यशपाल आर्य की यंगर सिस्टर्स हस्बैंड सबसे ज़्यादा जो मुझे उनकी याददाश्त है जब वो इंडिया अमेरिका आ रहे थे पहली बार एंड बाहर खेल रही थी मैं बल्लभगढ़ में अपने घर में एंड भैया आई और माता से कहा हाँ सब जयपुर चलो और मैं तो अमेरिका जा रहा हूँ First time I met them, if you remember, when you went in in 1989 and he stayed at our home in Delhi. Then I came to know him, and after that, then I came to uh, America in January 1990, and they helped us so much. Then, after two three months, my father died in India. I was so depressed. I went to India, came back, wanted to go back, but give me so much moral support. So, भैया के तो मुझे जब हम लोग शुरू में आई थी 1990 में तो रेजिडेंसी शुरू हो गई थी उसके बाद में हमारे पास गाड़ी वाड़ी नहीं थी हम ब्रुकलिन में रहते थे और भैया ऑफ कोर्स लॉन्ग आइलैंड में ही रहते थे एवरी वीकेंड हमको भैया लेकर आते थे अपनी गाड़ी में सब मिल के खूब खाना पकाते थे एंजॉय करते थे भैया इन भाभी को उनकी फिफ्टी एथ वेडिंग एनिवर्सरी बहुत बहुत So 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 much. Say I love Nani and Nana. So 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 much. I love Nani and Nana so 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 much. <gasps> oh, mama, mama. Look, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Think of a time. Mama. Don't forget the. Vivi, can you remember a time when you sought either mom or dad's advice? Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember when I was in high school and I was applying for colleges, and I was supposed to write an essay. And I had absolutely no idea what to write. I was pretty lost. So I remember Dad and I had a pretty lengthy conversation. And then that's when he told me about the three Ds, which to me was so inspiring. I based my entire um, college essay on that. And what the three Ds were, um, were desire, determination, and destination. And I still carry that with me to this day. Now being a mother yourself, can you think of some of the things maybe she taught you or, or you learned from her? Absolutely. Um, when I think about all the support that mom gave, mom has always made sure that all of my needs, all of our needs were met. And I like to think that I also bring that to my children, just the love and the support that I learned from her. The memory, <clears throat> the memory that you have of, of the two of them on occasion. It's been heartwarming to see how you two support each other and how over the years your partnership has become so strong. And even though you don't agree about everything, you guys still just, you support one another and you're, you're each other's rock. Happy 50th wedding anniversary. <laughs> so Katyani, tell me, what do you like most about your daddy and dada? Well, I like how they're always there for me. They're really nice. Sometimes Dadi makes me really good food whenever I ask for it. And then we just talk. And it's really cool because all they do is just kind of listen. And I tend to talk a lot. I talk about science and I talk about my math. Sometimes I talk about my teachers and how they suck. And I also talk about how nice my teachers are. And it's just really nice talking to them. And then with Dada, he's, he's actually fairly active 
and we uh, we play ball together we can play basketball we can play volleyball i mean he's not that good but he's okay this one time dadi and dada and i we were all outside and we were playing horse which is a fun basketball game and they were actually doing really well and we were all having a really good time i ended up winning of course but they still put up a good competition it was really fun there was something you mentioned that you really did like about them what was that oh yeah i'm taller than both of them they're both pretty short so i like flexing off my height if you could say one thing to them because it's their 50th wedding anniversary your parting words i'm very glad that you guys make made it this long it's 50 years big yeah so my name is rupam jain um son of uh, dr subash and sarala jain the arya family and the jain family have been friends forever uh, urmila shanti and uh, my father went to medical school together so we've known each other since uh, I guess the late 70s, early 80s, uh, when all the families were coming from, you know, Rajasthan and, and settling here. And the community was built over a long period of time, but that was the beginning. I met uncle and auntie once we got married. And uh, what I felt was a warm and welcoming uh, friends uh, of, our, of my in-laws. Um, it felt more like a family at how everybody had received me. So even in coming from different backgrounds, I think, except for the fact that they all studied in Jaipur together, I felt a very uh, well-knit family in this uh, country. The, the thing that I really, really admire about uh, Uncle and Auntie is that they, as much as I know, uh, Uncle has helped you know, in his entire family come here, settle down. Even you know, people he didn't know, he's helped them come and settle down. So to us, this was such a, a beautiful uh, way of learning and living the American dream. And knowing kind of where they came from, you know, in, from a small place in, in, in rural Rajasthan, to come here and become, you know, the elite part of medicine, uh, society, philanthropy, politics, uh, to me, that's, uh, you know, they're role models. Uh, my name is Dr. Rajinder Singh. I know Dr. Yashpal Arya and Urmulesh Arya from the day actually when I landed in this country. From that day, we have been very close to each other. He is a consistent, hardworking, and very, very honest physician and whom you can trust. I'll say, Yashpal, you are very lucky. You have a great children. We have a great similarities from the background, from the, our families, and this was the reason that our friendship and our practice together has been going on for the last 43 years. Uh, we met Dr. Arya about 40 years ago, 1976, and uh, since that time, we always had a very, very good relations. Dr. Arya has helped me uh, all my life. So first time when, they came, uh, when my daughter was born, they came to my house. They treated me all the time like a younger sister. And since then, uh, in spite of the friend, we become family. Both of them are really uh, great people, very caring and very nice, intelligent, knowledgeable, and hardworking. We wish them, uh, both of them, very happy, healthy, and a long life together. A happy, happy uh, 50th anniversary and uh, I want uh, their long, long life and uh, our togetherness too. And both of us are very special. And that's the big thing that we also understand each other. Hello, I'm Raj Modi. Hi, uh, I'm Neelam Modi. We have known your parents since uh, 1980 when we moved into New York and they were very welcoming to us. I came in 1980 and I was looking for a residency, but it was very hard to get ophthalmology residency. I called Yeshpal Vaisab and he told me to come to Waikop Heights Hospital. I reached there, he came at the door to pick me up, took me upstairs to the 
medical department and they offered me medical residency right then and there. I would say they are the made for each other couple. It's always fun to have them around. Um, they they complement each other so well and congratulations to them on their 50th anniversary. Wish them many, many more happy years together. My name is Om Prakash Bansar. I know Dr. Arya more than 45 years and Urmulas Arya is my classmate. My name is Usha Bansal, and uh, Dr. Yashpal Arya was very senior to me. Dr. Mrs. Urmulesh Arya was also senior to me. I met them after coming here uh, around 1975. From there, it has become from friendship to like a family thing now. My children and their two older children were the same age, and we would meet very often, either due to children's activity or some functions. I feel so open and comfortable to just give them a call and ask them, I want this or I have this or I have this problem, what should I do? It is that kind of a relationship at this point now. Thank you, Dr. Arya and Mrs. Arya for being such good friend and good helper. And we really value their company, their friendship, and their helpfulness. We are wishing them a very, very happy 50th anniversary. And uh, I would say many, many more to yes. come. And we should be able to enjoy their 75th anniversary as well. Thank you. It was sometime in 1968, I had gone to Jaipur and I met Yashpal Arya in the cafeteria. Wonderful man, very caring, very giving. Urmulesh made a name for herself and a desire to work for the community. Each one successful in their own way. Love is very important, but discipline needs to accompany that love. If it is love with discipline, you will raise a wonderful kid. So God bless you all, and may you all have successful life. My name is Nirmal Mattu. I actually met your dad uh, first. Uh, it was in 1970s. And one could see right away that here was a person who was very intelligent, who will do well in future. And he was able to find a life partner who had similar views similar way of looking at life. So they're very warm, affectionate, and caring people. There are some very tangible things that people have to be called successful. But there are other things that really mark people to be truly successful. And that is an enduring, long, loving marriage and long and legitimate, loyal friendships. And Finally, in both Yash and Urmlech, I see the spirit and temperament of to give freely. Your parents were so kind and generous to establish a significant endowment for a library which is going to help thousands of people. My family and I feel lucky to have them as our friends and we wish them a long, successful life full of bliss and happiness. I'm a humble product of their struggle. This is their story. and the story of all the countless number of dreamers as we embrace a shared vision. India is the birthplace where it all began. America is the soil where that story was planted. We are their fruits. But we must never forget our roots.